Hello, hello, hello. It's Brandy Janae. Thank you for tuning in to my channel today. I'd like to welcome you if you are new and welcome you back if you're returning. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick planner haul. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, please be sure to stay tuned. All right, great. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Like I said, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a new planner haul of some items that I have picked up. So I will start with a purchase that I made from Erin Condren first. And this was kind of like two separate orders because yeah, why not? So I got these super cute Hello Kitty pins. If you know me, then you know I absolutely love Hello Kitty. And I honestly cannot remember whose video I was watching, but she had them and I was so excited. So I literally went and ordered them that day. I don't particularly care so much for a ball pop, ball point pin, which I'm pretty sure both of these are, yes. But they do come in handy on occasion. So regardless of which, they're beautiful and they're gonna look good in my stash. And then with that order, I also ordered the washi, even though I said I'm never buying any more washi because I have tons, I decided to go ahead and get some anyway. So I bought the Harmony Colorful, which is this set here, and then the In Bloom, which is this set here, just because they're, they're very pretty. And it's nice to have washi from Erin Condren to go in my Erin Condren planners. So, eh. was it necessary? No. Are they cute? Yes. Why not? All right, and then next I purchased the notebook. So this has the Etta V cover and it's the A5 lined notebook, which I plan on using this for like my budget. And so I was kind of playing around with it already and found some like stickers on Etsy just to kind of see, you know, how I wanted to like set this up. Now, the only issue with this is, do I add tabs for the month or do I just like cut out a monthly from another one and then just stick it in here? Because I do feel like I need, I like, well, I don't need it, but I like the monthly calendar so that I can visually see what's due. So I don't really know yet, but I did kind of play around with it and I really like it. I think this will be great for, I'm going to try to budget y'all. I swear I'm going to try this time for real, for real because my life has changed, my budget has changed, my finances have changed, and I really need to get like all that under control. So I purchased this so that I can try that out. And I didn't wanna buy another planner because I already at this point now, well, you'll see in a second. Um, <laughs> so the next thing I purchased was this little bundle deal and this, Here's why I didn't want to buy another planner because I sort of already did. So I have the daily, which I absolutely adore. I do think I'm going to get it in ring bound next time because, well, no, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. I'm still trying to decide like how I prefer, if I prefer the spirals or if I prefer the ring bound system i don't know yet we'll see anyway so i have the a5 daily i also have the a5 compact vertical which i like it but i don't love it um so i think for the compact vertical instead of using it for like a weekly overview planner kind of thing which at this point for me is just really not necessary i'm going to go ahead and just use that as like a journal so that i can you know, just get in the habit of writing more and expressing my thoughts and feelings on paper because I just, I don't. And I really need to start kind of just writing out my life. And then I figure that will also help me with this planner, which is now going to be my new life planner. So I'm super excited, not life planner, Lord, it's going to be my new memory planner because i've been watching all these super great youtube videos and everybody's doing memory planning and it looks super duper cool and i want to do it like i don't 
I don't, I never do it. And so then from year to year to year, I pretty much just throw my planners away because I'm like, what do I need them for? But it would be nice to kind of look back on some things that I did over the year to, you know, celebrate those good times and those fun moments and just have something to look back on. So I've been watching like 40,000 videos on memory planning. And so I went ahead and purchased this. This is, again is the A5 size because this is the one that was in the bundle. I'm probably going to wish I would have gotten the 7 by 9 but we're going to make it work. So the bundle included this planner, which is, you know, standard setup. Of course, it comes with a couple sticker sheets in the back. Oh, you get four in the compact vertical. I think the other planners only come with two sheets, so that's pretty cool. And so you get the four pages of stickers. Of course, you have your folder in the back. And then your perpetual calendar. So now I have three perpetual calendars, which is funny. And then I don't necessarily care for this colorful thing, this style, but I'm going to make it work. And then it also came, bleh, came with the colorful pins, which match the tabs. So that's super cool. So they're colorful gel pins. And then it came with the color blends washi tape which is also very pretty. And then it came with the mini snap-in bookmarks, which I love, and I'm going to be using these in all three of my planners because although this little ruler here is cute, sometimes I still can't get to the page like I want to. And then it also came in with this universal snap-in weekly dashboard. So this, I feel like, will be easier for me to kind of pre-plan my weekend because I don't really write much in the weeklies. I really write more in the day to day. So weekly may just say like get groceries or go to movies or whatever. But then in the daily, I'm actually putting the time. I'm putting who I'm doing it with. I'm putting more notes just because there's more space to write those things. So this was the little planner bundle that I purchased. And then I also grabbed this sticker sheet and it just has the like labels just because I mean, you really can never have enough labels so i figure these will be cool i can put make them as day headers or you know whatever i need them for but i always feel like you can never have too many label stickers all right so that is my oh nope one more thing and this should have been part of the other crew but i forgot friends do y'all see how cute this little notebook is again this is probably old to everybody but me but like I said in one of these videos, I'm I'm just getting back into the Aaron Condren family. So for me, this is new and I love it. Now, what I had planned on using this for when I bought it was to write little notes so that when I did my memory planner, I would have the notes written down. Now that I'm not using the compact vertical and that's going to serve as kind of my memory planner journal slash notes. I don't really know what I'm going to use this for, but I'm going to use it because it's cute. It's so cute, and I love it. Even if I have to use that work just to bring a little joy to the office, I'm going to do that because it's so, so, so cute. So this is the custom checklist notepad. You can get this customized. I don't really remember how you can get it customized, but you can. But I chose not to because I wanted it fast. <laughs> That's it. I just I just wanted it fast, so I didn't customize it. All right, then I also purchased this super cute sticker book from Live Love Posh. If you follow me on, I believe, Instagram, I kind of did a reel where I did the flip through of it. So I'm just going to just do a quick flip through. And uh, yes, I'm starting from the back. Sorry if that bothers you, but it's so pretty. I absolutely love the stickers. They are rather large. Like when I first opened it, I was like, whoa, that's big stickers. So hopefully, I'm sorry, I know my sleeve is kind of blocking the light here. Sorry. But hopefully I can make them fit in these smaller planners. But I just love the colors. I love the details in all of them. And it's just, it's just a beautiful book. Do I need more stickers? No, I, I don't. Not even a little bit. But again, I was watching somebody's video <laughs> and they had them and I literally ordered them right at that second. Hence the budget planner because your girl is tripping. 
I'm all about spoiling myself, but sometimes I get a little out of control. So I need to rein it in because I'm getting packages at this point and I don't even know. I'm like, oh, I forgot I ordered that. <laughs> Which means I'm doing too much. So this is so cute. I love, love, love all the colors and I'm super excited about using them in my planner. So don't be like me and just spend money even though you didn't budget for it, but be like me and go buy this because it's cute and you're gonna love it. My next sticker haul came from Nash. Ooh. I think it's Nash Print Works, I think is what it's called. I'll find out for sure and leave it below. I think it's Nash Print Works though. She had a super duper sale and I happened to find it, find, I'm following her on Instagram and that's how I saw it. And she had like an incredible sale. So I went ahead and just bought all the things. And I'm happy that I did because I do believe these will be great for my memory planner. So I'm super excited about that because it has all the boxes. So I purchased this kit here. So it has your full boxes, your giant washi for the top, some day headers, some glitter headers, and then your numbers. So super excited about that. And then checklist boxes, some icons. I don't remember what the names of these are called, but it almost kind of gives me, well, it gives me like travel vibes. So anyway, I thought this was cute. This, I don't think I would probably use them because I don't even know how you could write over those flowers, but maybe, I don't know. And then I ordered this set, which I thought was super pretty. I love the colors. I love the like spa relaxation type vibes with this one. And again, I, it's, it's a little too much on these to me. You may be able to write over it. I haven't really tried it, but I'm not sure. But I wouldn't technically need these because I'm doing using these for memory planning. There really isn't a need for a checklist. So I could essentially turn these the other way and make them some cute little deco, which I might do, or even just put like a little strip of washi down here to kind of make it more of a deco box. But I don't know. And then I can always put these in another planner and just use them as an actual checklist. So this one is called Luna something. I do remember the name of this one, but I thought it was super cute. Again, I just love the colors. I love these little cups because they remind me of like Starbucks cups. And of course, the little planners and or sticker books <laughs> um, that I have are super cute. And then the washi I thought was pretty. And then I am a sucker for leopard print. So that made me happy. I absolutely love the glitter headers. So I'm super excited to use all of these in my planner. And this font is really cool too. And then here are the boxes. Okay, I'm not really sure where I left off. I ended up getting a phone call. Y'all, I'm trying to book this flight. And let me tell you, whew, flying with the government is something else. Anyway, <laughs> I purchased this kit because I absolutely adore rainbows. I think they are so cute. I really love like the baby boho vibes of this. <laughs> um, and the colors are just so pretty to me. So I, I just thought this would be a fun kit to use at some point. I don't even know where I'm gonna store all these kits because as you can see, like the pages are giant. And the book that I currently store my stickers in, like this one fits. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with all these, but I love them. And then it comes with this little like swirly set. And then of course the glitter headers or glitter washi or whatever it's called is super cute. Now, the only thing about this that is kind of weird to me are the numbers. Like I don't really know how I feel about all these different fonts and all these different sizes, but such is life. It's still cute. I'll make them work. Or maybe I just won't use those and just use regular ones. I'm not sure. But everything else I think is super cute. And then I love these little checklist boxes. So again, I probably won't use them in the memory planner, but I'll definitely use them in a planner more than likely. And then this last kit, man, I looked at this kit and I was like, oh, that's sexy a little bit. I love the leopard. I love the, I just love the vibes and the colors of this. And it just reminds me of like a really like good romantic vacation. Like 
I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it's it's just giving me total like romantic vacation vibes and I love it. And so then it comes with more. I told y'all I really like this. I don't know if this leopard, cheetah, I don't know, but I like that pattern. And then it comes with this page, which is super duper cute. So that is, I think it's Nash Print Works, I think is what it's called. So, but I will leave that linked below so that you guys can get you some stickers if you want them. And then last but certainly not least, I decided because this is another video company that I watch, like I watch most of her videos, Boulder Bond, um, which I don't know what her actual YouTube channel name is, but this is the name of the sticker company. And I don't know why I put the Live Love Posh stuff in there with this. I must have gotten the package on the same day. But this was the July sticker subscription. And I just kind of wanted to see what that looked like. So what the subscriptions look like because her stickers are so pretty like when I watch her. So I just wanted to see what it was. Unfortunately, again, because now I'm trying to budget and be better. I did cancel my subscription. Hopefully I'm able to resume it again at a later date because it's only I think it was like 23 bucks or so. 20 something dollars so it wasn't super expensive but i have so much other stuff going on that i'm like Ugh. so i'm thinking about starting to use like the digital printable kits or whatever from etsy just because it's a little bit cheaper and because i already make stickers like i have so much sticker paper already and i have the resources to be able to just print and cut myself and in the long term like it's just a cheaper option for me so once i get all my finances and get everything in order i may go back and pick this up because the kit is super gorgeous like i it's it's great so anyway i got this little heart sticker which i think is super pretty again the colors are just beautiful it came with these scripts which are super cute. Here is some like deco. I would imagine this is probably like a freebie or something. I don't know though. And then I did purchase the A5 kit. And so literally like you got the little tracker that goes in the box, which where's my A5? So you can see for those of you that are not familiar. All right, so here's like, I'm gonna open up. September so here is like the dashboard page or whatever so literally like this would go here super cute and then this would go here in this spot and then these two can go here in this spot and again the colors are gorgeous and I love like the water in the background kind of thing it's super cute and again it's so romantic <laughs> so you get your monthly oh nope that goes on here header for your calendar pages and then of course your numbers and then you have all of these really great boxes and I absolutely love the size of these because they'll fit perfectly in this particular square area sometimes the boxes are just too big and they're like you either have to cut them down or they just hang over, which is weird to me. But some people use it, but I don't like it. And then she also provided this little like notes tab. And I kind of like how it's separated. So you can put one of these scripts up here if you want. So, you know, to buy or to call or whatever. And so that's kind of cool, like how that's done. I'm getting this all mixed up. And then you have your weeklies. So here's the weekly header for this one. Oh, let me move this out of the way. So of course the washi would go across the tops. You have your days of the week so they can go in here. And I feel like this can be used for either the compact vertical or the daily planner in the A5 size. It does say compact vertical, but I think you can use it for the dailies as well. And then it comes with this page. So you have your checklist page, check boxes, some numbers. And then here's another set, which is beautiful. 
I'm sorry, I'm like all out of frame. I'm so excited, like I haven't seen these already. And then you get this set. So this box could go like, basically these two boxes would go here if you chose to use it in this planner. But then if you just use the daily, then you could put either this box down here or this box down there in the daily planner. You would only be able to have it for one day though. So I guess that's why this was designed as for the compact vertical kit because only one day would then have a box. Anywho, then you have this set, which reminds me of some like really pretty sand, like those little sand vase jar things where you mix the colors in. That's what that reminds me of. And so it comes with the big washi, two little skinny washies, some um, of the little extra, I don't know what those washies are called, but anyway, super cute. And here's the numbers. And then this time there's a big full box instead of the two smaller boxes. And then you have these headers. Again, the colors are super pretty. And then the two boxes again with all the things. And I like how these are all kind of different. So you have this style, you have this style. And this even has like the hourly setup. Well, that's cool. So yeah, like literally these pages are the same. I, I guess I did, I did look at these already, but I'm just now really like looking at them. <laughs> obviously so these four pages are designed the same like it's the same layout you get the washies the boxes whatever dates these ones the weekly ones are the ones that change so this is a different variation then you have this variation and then this one which is different well i guess this one these two are similar yeah these two here are more similar and then you have this one, which again, so anyway, I think it's super cool. Like I love it. I love the kit. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get my life together so that I can do some more because I do love a mystery. I really do like really, really do like mysteries are my jail. Oh, that goes with this one because you just never know what you're gonna get in the mail. And so I already snuck and ordered another mystery kit. And <laughs> so I will be sharing that with you later. But I promise like now I'm a, I gotta, I gotta slow down for real, for real, I gotta slow down. So anyway, I had already ordered that before I was like, no, for real, you need to quit. So anyway, that is my haul for this week. I hoped that you guys enjoy this video. Please be sure to let me know of any awesome printable companies down in the comments below, even if it's yours. Insert shameless plug. If you have some dope printables, either through Etsy or your own website or whatever, leave them in the comments below because I'm looking for shops because like I said, that's just more, that'll be more budget friendly for me in the long term. Because I don't, what I don't want to do is get to the point where I'm not filming videos anymore because I'm like, I don't have a kit. Be in real life, I don't need to order any stickers because I have 15,000 of them. But sometimes it is nice to have a kit just for the cohesive look. <laughs> um, especially when I'm trying to do this whole memory planner process. Now, I don't need to, you know, have those giant kits with all the washi tapes and the overlays and the underlays and all that other stuff I don't understand. So I don't need to go that extreme right now because I'm just, I'm trying it. But it is nice to have a cohesive looking setup whenever you're doing anything. And so that's really the reason why I like a kit. But spending three, four, five dollars on a digital kit and printing it myself is way more price, I guess, conducive to my lifestyle than spending $30, $40 trying to buy kits in individual pieces from, you know, shops. So anyway, I'm rambling again about money. <laughs> One day I might even start doing a budget video. I don't know. I feel like I need to get it in order first before I start trying to film and talk about it because I think 
like I might cry the first couple times I do this because I'm just not used to budgeting. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I'm just, I'm just not a budgeter. So I probably cry the first couple times I sit down and do it. Um, but August 1st, it's a go. It's, I'm, it's, it's going. I have all the parts I need. August 1st is going down. So anyway, leave me some nice comments, budgeting tips, planner kits, and just any other thing you might want to tell me. Leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, have a good day, friends. Goodbye.